Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lemon Crack. I am super excited, I'm super pumped for today's episode. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. So, uh, before we begin, uh, just want to say, uh, I hope that you're all enjoying this series. I'm having quite a bit of fun on it, and I'm super excited to, for what we'll be doing next. And I have done a lot of work in the past episodes. But before we begin, um, my name is 1950s, and y'all should... Um, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with the episode today all right let's go so folks today or between episodes I mean I've been working on quite a bit of stuff as you can see this is our little area for where our mega base is gonna be and if you don't know what the mega base is gonna be it is a collection of many monuments from around the world which is super cool, and I'm super excited to get ready. And our first one is going to be a Japanese castle, which is going to go right here. And as you can see, I've set up another area over here. And this one's a pretty big square. Okay, got to fly. All right, there we go. And that so this one's going to be um, another cool idea that I've had. And we're just going to fill this entire place with monuments and farms and everything. But I also also this is this is crazy i know i have good armor like look at this look at this we have a full set of armor we have um a full set of tools with my axe and stuff and this is the first time in the season when we've had a full set of things i i, I haven't been this, that organized in the past whoopsies and we um are getting our materials ready for um, our projects here is the nether rack for the um, what we're going to be using for the um, castle the castle up here because we're going to smelt that all up and today I want to go check out um, a project that I just finished um, today actually and then begin the Japanese castle I know it's gonna this is this project is gonna take me a long time a, a, a few hours at least so Oh my goodness. Fly. This always happens when I get into the nether. There we go. But at the shopping district... Alright, so the, the project is going to take quite a few hours to complete. It's pretty massive. Um, it's going to take a while to build. Um, but it's going to look absolutely epic, which I'm super excited about. I have planned it out, and um, I follow a little bit of a tutorial for inspiration. But, um, yeah. So it looks like we have some things new in the shopping district, so let's check these out like we like to do every episode. What happened here? Looks like some his store got blown up. So, um, this store has not been making any sales, so I've increased the prizes a bit. Did we make a sale? No, we didn't. We have not made a sale in a long time. Which, that's okay. Uh, it's all good. Um, and the concrete shop is now open, so we can buy concrete. Heavy concrete, and there we got all the heavy concrete, and we're gonna need a whole bunch of white for our thing. Also, I'm starting to sell memberships for my gold farm, which is super great. We've already sold two memberships for 70 diamonds a piece, so we're making some some diamonds, and I even left a little thing here. Um, yeah, so you can pause and read one. Basically. I'm selling things. I attained 120 levels in 40 minutes, which is super great, um, and a whole bunch of gold. And I'm selling different types of memberships for um, the thing. We've got this new shop that blooms, I think. And this is a beacon rental service where you can rent a beacon, two diamonds for a half an hour. That's pretty neat. You get a full set of beacons for an hour. And there's something new over here. I don't want to spoil it, but what is this? Oh, okay. Something is going on here. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find a video about it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out soon. But this is the project that I have been working on for all of today. And this is what you may have seen in the past, that little, like, just the redstone I was trying to work on. It's not quite finished yet, but I might as well explain it to you. I'm going to get rid of that chest. So this is a project that I'm doing, uh, uh, collaborated with Boom TNT. Um, it's kind of like a um, 
loot box kind of system. I made it look like kind of a factory. I'm pretty proud of it. I liked it a lot. Um, but it's basically um, you can buy a type of um, like a key or a access to a crate. I think that's what he called it. And basically you can put it in there and you can retrieve a shulker box of the level you chose. So these are all the different colors of the levels. And if we go inside, yeah, this is, this is a pretty cool building. So that, no, 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 no. Look what he did. That is not correct. Where's my sign? Employees only. And I'll grab some yellow dye to fix that. But inside, we have two different ways to go. So this is the inside to the redstone. And the redstone is an absolute mess. It looks terrible. But um, I built this, um, I designed this myself. And what it does is when somebody puts a key into um, the machine, it will sort it out into the right area and then dispense the proper level of a box they chose. So this is the highest one. So you can get all of these kinds of things. There's blaze rods and shulkers boxes and tridents and all sorts of stuff in there. And this is the lowest one with like things like string, a bed. So not the best things, but each one, you do have a chance of getting something kind of nice that you may need. So this uh, is pretty cool. It took a lot of hoppers and stuff though. So then it will be it will be sorted into the right system. So let's say this is you got you got a level two, then the line one, then you it will go through here, read this, and dispense this into an area here with a minecart that will drop it into this dropper. This dropper is hooked up to the comparator clock, which will shoot it out into the water stream, and that will bring it up into a bubble vader down there. And, um, and then it goes up here into this dropper, which will be dispensed um, into there. And then we also, on the top, have a button where you can take it out. So it's basically just a upgraded version of my other game that I built over here. Boy. Yeah, this took me a long time to build. I built this today. It took me most of the day. So it's just, it's just an upgraded version of this with different levels of prizes you can get. And me and Boom are going to be split, splitting uh, profits on this because I built the building and the redstone and he's supplying the um, things. And here's a little office down here, which is pretty neat. So we got the, the CFO and the CEO and we have little places where you can put our money back here. And this I made this kind of logo. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I like it. It's okay. So... That is what I've been working on in between episodes. We got new armor. We got this new shop, which I'm I'm loving this. This is, this is like this is the colors of the thing, and this is the button where you can use to remove it. It's just the same as the other one. But I'm liking this. This is really cool. Really cool. My goodness, I spent a lot of time doing nothing. I need to get to work. But what is this? What is this? Let's see. Dear lemons, welcome to the challenge bit. What is the challenge bit? The challenge pit is a place you go where, when you want to set up a game, you rent, oh, you rent out the space. That's cool. That's cool. So you, if you want to make a game, you can make it go here. Oh, we have a new thing. And we're hoping that uh, Dr. Beast will come soon with his TN terraforming job at our base. But let's head back there now and start to talk about what we need to do and complete for our Japanese castle that we're starting today. I'm super excited, so stay tuned. So here we are at this. We have um, quite a bit of concrete. We need more stone. Stone, stone, stone. But here is the area where we're going to have uh, Dr. Beast do some terraforming for us. We paid him to do that. And this is the area where we're going to have to be building an a gigantic base and um my oh goodness I, I i'm excited i'm excited but i'm also a little nervous about how this is going to go because this base is i built in creative mode and it's probably going to go at least to the clouds probably past don't quite know how tall it is although i i have built in creative but yeah this is going to take a lot of stone a lot of resources and um 
Yeah. yeah. So, so, I have just, just this so far. And I don't, don't think we're going to be able to get to any of the detail today. It's, it's, it's taken a long time. time. So, so, the base goes out to about there. And then we have the awesome part where we put lots of detail. So, maybe if I don't get to that today, this episode may be a bit boring, but oh well, right? I'm having fun. I hope you're all having fun, too. Um, yeah. 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 So, I was going to smell the netherrack, but I, I don't have any coal. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to get, like, a bamboo farm over here. So, I'm going to jump... Uh, right into starting to try to build up the layers, um, try to get at least the stone done before I'm back to you, and then I'll show you a little bit of, of how the design works, hopefully, hopefully, and if not, then I will, I will, I promise, I promise, okay, let's jump into it. So, here we go back down into the mines to find more stone, what, what? Are these the wrong mines? Oh my goodness. These can't be the wrong ones. No, I swore I went down... Maybe I went down the wrong tunnel. Oh boy, I'm lost. This is not good. But we need to get more stone. Uh, I... I mean, I knew I didn't have enough, but... Um, that's all we have done. Right there. That's how tall it's gonna be, by the way. Yeah. Uh, down this cave. Oh my goodness, I'm... I'm thinking too much about this this build. Yeah, here we go. But, basically, it's gonna be pretty cool. I already... I mean, okay, alright. I, I, I'm just kinda talking at this point. But, 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 but... I'm excited. Super excited. But, um, I want to talk to you all about something that happened to me. Um... Uh, we had a live stream the other day. Um, it's posted on the channel if you want to check it out. It was okay. Uh, good live stream. I would say so. But um, with Dr. Beast, of course, for his 100 subscriber celebration. And during that 100 subscriber celebration, we reached 50 subscribers on the channel. So that is super amazing. I'm really happy that uh, we got 50 subs. Uh, I mean, sub sub subscribers don't matter that much. I mean, they do, but, you know. It's important we don't get too caught up in them. But um, 50 subscribers is pretty good. And uh, thank you all for for uh, for doing that. Um, yeah, we had a good time at the live stream. Uh, had quite a bit of fun. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for 50 subscribers, everybody. Pretty nice. Um, and uh, Dr. Beast, he, uh, he just reached 100 as well. So... Uh, be sure to go over to his channel and check it out if you haven't already. Uh, I definitely recommend it because, uh, whoa, whoopsies. Um, yeah, he's got a good channel. He's playing on Lemoncraft as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, we're having a lot of fun on the server. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, oh my goodness. Not any diamonds in there, is there? Um, so, oh yes, yeah, so, uh, down below in the comment section, um, I, I don't normally get a lot of comments on my videos, which, I mean, that's okay. I don't, I only get this the spam bots. Uh, but, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but, uh, do comment down below on any of your thoughts about um, how the channel is going. Um, or any suggestions you have for the Lemoncraft. I'm always excited to read uh, any comments I may get. Um, especially because my base is kind of... I need ideas because... Um, you know, there's so many different building styles and things that I can and can't do. And uh, different ideas we can have to put inside the base. So, um, go down below right now. If you're watching this video. If you got this far in, we're like 10 minutes in or something. Uh, if you got this far in, oh my goodness, more lava. If you got this far in, uh, go ahead and go down and comment something. Um, just ask about, or I mean, I'm asking what kind of um, base, like you know how we're doing the, the monuments. 
Um, what next should the next money be? We got the Japanese castle. We got the pyramid. We got um, the Eiffel Tower probably going to do. And Big Ben are the ones that I, I, I've thought of so far. But I also need ideas on what to do and what to put inside. So um, I saw in the, my, one of my other videos, Dr. Beast Gaming. He said that uh, that I should build an, a bread farm inside the Eiffel Tower. I like I like that idea a lot. So those kind of things. If you would go down in the comment section and leave any uh, comments on what you you'd like to see in the chant uh, on the channel um, or in Lemoncraft. Okay, I'm back to mining. So just returned from a small mining trip. It's not that much, but. I'm gonna play it by ear a little bit and see how much we can do. We'll just do it in little trips, of course. And we got um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine stacks, almost, which is super awesome. Uh, we even got a little bit of valuables, no diamonds though, which that's okay. And um, I'm gonna go back and try to finish that little base for the. Um, the castle. So, be right back. Oh, yeah. Some diamonds. We have found some diamonds, folks. This is good. Uh, we're not looking for diamonds, necessarily. Well, iron, too. But, um, I'm back down in the mines. We have, um, just about the third layer complete. So, this is super good. Uh, we're almost there. But, uh, we ran out again. So, one, two, three, four. And we'll hit these with fortune. Five. Let's just make sure there's no more. And we will get some more diamonds to spend. We already have uh, quite a few blocks. But I'm thinking about in the next couple of episodes, uh, if any of you um, know the YouTuber Iskal85, uh, he did a challenge in one of his Hermitcraft episodes where he got 2,000 diamonds in one episode. So we might have to take Iskal up on a challenge and... Uh, also try to reach that insane goal but um yeah so we got, oh, we got five there so perfect we got some diamonds and i'm gonna go back up to the surface and finish that final layer before we do our final thing in the episode so stay tuned there we go folks that is the entire pedestal completed which is super great and uh, where is it? Where is it? What am I looking for? Um, we just had one stack of stone left. So that is perfect amount for this pedestal here. And we're going to texture it. And then um, probably in between episodes, I'll throw some andesite, maybe some cobblestone in there. And we'll see how that looks. But this uh, has taken me, it doesn't take me too long, which is great. Uh, I, I really like how it looks right now. Um, and it's only going to get better after this. Right now, it's literally just a stone pedestal. But let me grab my rockets. Rocket box. And fly up here. Fly. Fly. Right. And we have a whole lot of space inside of this. So that means we need to put something inside here. So like I said in that mining video, or the, yeah, you know, but I mean, uh, we got to figure out what we're going to put in here. So I was thinking, um, might be a little small for a storage system. Maybe a super smelter. Maybe some sort of farm. But I want you to tell me. You all tell me what we're going to put inside the base of this area. And um, inside, we have a lot of space inside. It's probably uh, like double this. And I'm thinking that maybe we're going to put some things that um, would actually go inside a, a real castle. In real life but that's gonna it's gonna go way up there and uh we're gonna have some more space inside so if you guys could think of anything about what we might want to do that would be great but um i know that we this has been kind of a boring episode but um we built a stone pedestal amazing wow my scale level is very high in this minecraft but just you wait folks i'm super excited to be able to continue in the next episode with um the next part of this but um we're, we're running out of time on the video today so um yeah i think this is gonna be the end of the episode now before you go like i, I gotta do the uh, announcement stuff so be sure to go and check out 
Um, the other Lemoncraft members, um, I'll put tags up if maybe, or what are they, tags? No. Cards, that's right. I'll put cards up probably um, during the video, so look at, look at those if they're there. And uh, the links to the channels will be in the description. Also check out uh, the podcast that I was talking about recently called The Bubcast. Um, I'll put a card up for that sometime too. And... Um, before you all go, be sure to leave, like, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Um, that's really my inspiration to be able to continue working on this, that um, some people like it. So, ugly swamp over here. Goodness. But we got a pedestal. So be sure to leave your comments down below on what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.